Huh? Hello baby wovers? It's Chino, and today I'm responsible to show you the gnome scroll bars before and after. Before as in GTK3, and after as in GTK4 and Lib Adwaita. Ready? Chino, we're now official siblings. Starting with Gnome Software 41 that uses GTK3, and on the initial state the scroll bars are hidden. Moving the mouse, and the scroll bars get visible. Hover on the scroll bar and it gets expanded. Start scrolling and it gets blue. Also notice the non-existing padding that looks like the scroll bar touches the window. And finally on precise scrolling the bar gets smaller. By the way, you can initiate the precise mode either by long press or by tapping on shift key. Oh, and scrolling outside the bar of course, that keeps the scroll bar in the default state. Same with dark theme. We start with the hidden state, then the bar gets visible, then it gets expanded, and then turns to blue on scrolling. And again pay attention on padding and borders. And next we have issue 130 in Lib Adwaita. That is a work on scroll bar style sheet, and it is now closed so it is presumed fixed, although more changes may come. In any case that's how it is now. So, Gnome Software 42 and GTK4, and the scroll bar is hidden like before. Moving the mouse brings scroll bar to its default state. Then on hover it is expanding, and back on default. Now, when we scroll it keeps its original color, and it doesn't become blue. Unless we activate the precise mode. But all those aside, we have bigger paddings, bigger radius, and basically we don't have borders, and everything put together gives a nicer visual result. But speaking of visuals, what you really want is this. So everything's like before, but with the dark skin of Adwaita that has evolved to something pretty acceptable. Now why it took so much time to find more balanced dark colors? No idea. Ask Coco. Chino out.